I'm Anne Denis Blanchardon. I'm deputy head of the French mission here in Singapore. I've been posted in Singapore for 18 months. I'm a career diplomat and um, being in Singapore is actually my third post in Asia after Shanghai and Hong Kong. I'm Monisha Cheong, a lawyer at TSMP Law Corporation. I'm uh, Gregory Vijendran and uh, I serve as the chairman of the Law Society Pro Bono Services. My name is Chloe Vialard. I'm a French, French national and also a French qualified lawyer. I'm registered at the Paris Bar and I'm also a foreign practicing lawyer with the Law Society of Singapore. This was actually a very exciting uh, collaboration uh, because the um, uh, signing of this MOU followed uh, on the heels of a master MOU uh, between the Paris Bar Association and the Law Society of Singapore, uh, which was a unique first. Um, it was um, uh, the first time that the Law Society of Singapore had signed uh, with um, a bar association from continental Europe. The legal clinic actually opened last month in December um, on the day celebrating um, human rights, which was an important date for us for this launch. Um, and it was right after the 25th of November, which is the annual day to fight for the elimination of violence against women on a global scale. And this was also very meaningful to us. If this, the main spouse is her has the visa, the children are also dependent on the main spouse visa. So that, that's also an issue, uh, being able to go back to France or to go back to another country uh, with the children might be an issue also because of this dependency towards the visa. And if you, the, the French law is that if you uh, take away the children when they are still minors, below 18 from both parents, um, it, it needs to be organized by a lawyer. You can't just leave with your, your children along with you. So based on, on that initial premise of basically questions, what will happen and where should I go? We figured that one, two key things to provide was first telling them where they can come to to get those information. And second, preparing them for what can, will come if they decided to act upon anything that they were facing in that specific situation. Often, the person seeking assistance is overwhelmed by the situation facing her. The French lawyer assists the person seeking help by taking down the facts of her case, listening to her, and distilling her situation into several key legal issues. The Singapore Qualified Lawyer then comes in and discusses with the French Qualified Lawyer. The preliminary phase of the entire project was some kind of uh, on-the-ground due diligence to understand whether there was a need from this community um, that, that we could help. So we had discussions with the French Embassy and its consulate who focuses on helping French citizens uh, based in Singapore and we understood that there had been instances where they had been consulted on issues of violence. And then we, we spread our search and we went to talk to local non-for-profit organizations in Singapore who are specialized in helping women victims of violence. And we asked them, had they ever seen expatriate women? Had they seen French women? Is there sufficient support for foreigners? Or do they face specific challenges because they are not, uh, they are from a different nationality, away from their homes, sometimes with a language barrier or with a lack of friends or family members to support, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And on that basis, we discovered that yes, there had been some issues to some women. And it would be naive to think that there would be no woman within the community or any community, whatever level of society, from you know, whatever background, any nationality, et cetera, that they you know, couldn't face such issues. So on that premise and without any specific numbers, because these are very difficult to track, then we decided that we should do something 
and we should propose that support center and that any woman who would come to us would be welcome. We're not here talking just about um, you know, physical violence, sexual violence, but also um, economic violence, you know, sometimes the deprivation of maintenance and so on. And so um, it was a pilot uh, that was uh, remarkable because uh, it provides a platform for lawyers from the borders both ways, Europe and Asia, France and Singapore, to come together drawing from their respective strengths and um, doing so in a very synergistic way, uh, respecting the, the lie of the land in terms of where the boundaries are, uh, legal competence wise and uh, what we can speak to, what we can't speak to, and yet united with this uh, passion to help someone who was vulnerable and especially vulnerable in the cause of the pandemic. So I hope that this uh, support centre um, encourages anyone who is vulnerable in the French-speaking community in Singapore to come forward. Oftentimes, taking the first step is the hardest. So we hope that with this clinic, the, we make the first step easier to take. And it is also important that these members of the community understand that there are avenues, resources and people that are here to help them, especially in their most vulnerable uh, times of their life. The uh, clinic project was mainly driven by the strong desire to help our community uh, members who are in need. And we also have to, to have in mind that uh, uh, combating violence, uh, domestic violence for women is actually a very strong priority for the French government. I'm speaking as a lawyer and a volunteer. Um, and every woman faces different situations and we can't generalize what women experience at that point in time because it really, really depends on a case-by-case -case basis. And, and that's essential and that's crucial. Even if one life that has suffered violence can experience uh, some healing or restoration to this initiative, uh, and I have no illusions, this is, you know, obviously a many helping hands approach that needs to be, you know, sometimes the role of counsellors, social workers, um, the health care professionals will also be attending in some cases of for instance, physical violence and sexual violence. Um, and of course, the lawyers too, you know, and uh, through this way, it's a community of healers uh, that come together. If we can make that difference to that one life, it's enough for us. Le centre a ouvert le 11 décembre 2021 et à ce jour, nous avons déjà des rendez-vous qui sont pris pour le support center. Si vous avez besoin d'aide, si vous avez des questions, tout simplement, Venez nous voir, nous sommes là, les avocats bénévoles français à votre disposition, dans un endroit euh, confiné, anonyme, confidentiel. Vous pourrez partager avec nous ce dont vous avez besoin et nous serons là pour, pour vous accompagner et pour vous aider. Donc n'hésitez pas.